what it do world shalom israel it's your girl alita yasharella and i'm back again with another video and i am aware that i was supposed to be doing a q a with this post um but most of you guys this question is like how much does it cost to travel to ghana um how much does it cost to live in ghana so instead of doing a q a which i'll do in another video I decided to specifically attack the question, how much does it cost to go to Ghana and how much does it cost to actually dwell in Ghana? And so, instead of just giving you guys a vague number, oh, it costs $4,000 to travel to Ghana. And instead of giving you guys a vague number, I've decided to map out each cost so that you can see where your money is going and so that you can create a checklist for you to start to travel to Ghana. So let's get started. So the first thing you need when traveling to Ghana, or anywhere out of the country for that matter, obviously is a passport. So let's put that down. So a passport typically costs between $110 and $140, depending on where you stay, um, depending on if you try to get it expedited or not, um, it could be more, um, and things like that. So you have some things that are way into the price going up or either down, um, but we'll just put 110 to 140. Um, so where would you get your passport at? You can go to the a passport agency. All you literally do is Google passport agency. You can go to um, your local county uh, court clerk, or you can go to the post office to get your passport. So that covers how much it is and where you can go and locate it. The next thing you're gonna need to travel to Ghana, obviously, is a flight ticket. So two flight tickets. Now, my flight ticket was $1,648.55, so I'm going to put that down, $1,648.55. This, this ticket was only 40 days out, so your ticket can go drastically down by actually planning your trip. So you can buy your ticket six months in advance, seven, eight, nine months in advance, it's going to drastically decrease as far as price. Um, so again, this is how much mine was because I left 40 days after purchasing my ticket. I implore all of you to um, actually plan your trip. Um, the next thing you're going to need to travel to Ghana is a visa. Visa is the same like a passport. It'll vary from $100 to $300, depending on how fast you need it um, and depending on how you get it. So for example, you can get a visa on arrival, which alleviates all of your time and any frustration or stress that comes with um, obtaining your visa. Um, it's an agency you can go through through BRC, a Bamboo Roots Collective and you can get your visa on arrival for $300, and you don't have to do anything, you just wait till you get to Ghana, they'll stamp your passport, and that's kind of like a hassle-free way of doing it, but you also can get it a lot cheaper uh, by doing it yourself, but you need to do it in advance because it can take quite a while. Since it can take from six to eight weeks and on up, depending now upon this coronavirus and all this COVID stuff. Um, so yeah, budgeting $100 to $300, depending on how you want to do it, to get your visa. You cannot go into Ghana without a visa, so figure that out. Next, you have to get a yellow fever shot. So for a yellow fever shot, $20. Quick disclaimer, I know I don't got the best penmanship, so... Don't even, you know, <laughs> try to talk about me. I'm trying to help y'all, okay? So don't be roasting me. Um, but anyway, so Yellow Fever Shot is only $20. You actually can get it in the airport of Ghana, so you don't need to have to plan and um, go around that. But if you have a personal doctor, you know, just let them know you're traveling to Ghana, they'll let you know what you need. You might be able to get it uh, cheaper or either free that way. Um, so the next thing you're going to need is a COVID test 72 hours before departure. So number five, we're just going to put COVID C test. 
and this is 72 hours before departure. So three days before you take your trip to Ghana, you have to go and get a COVID test. I don't have a price here because each state varies. For me, I got my COVID test for free because I found a clinic in Michigan that does free COVID testing. So I didn't have to pay any, anything, but I know people who have paid up to $300 for a COVID test um, three days before their departure. You also have to get a second COVID test. So we're gonna make number six, COVID test number two. And this one for sure is $150. I heard recently that it was switched to $50, which would be good. I wouldn't bank on that because I haven't been able to confirm it. Um, so if I were you, I would bank on being able to pay the $150 before, before departure. Um, also, going back to the flight, I want to make mention not to use any foreign airlines like Turkey, Turkish, you know, Istanbul. Like, I don't, I don't have any facts on why you know, they're bad. I just think that we should travel in a way that is clear to us. So we know about Delta. You're going thousands of miles over the water. So you definitely want to be with an airline that has some credibility and that is responsible for your life. Okay, so I travel, um, I travel Delta. Obviously, Delta is a well-known international airline. Um, and they could be held accountable if something was to happen for, to me. Um, also, for the visa, um, you can go through um, Bamboo Roots Collective if you want to, you know, do the hassle free or whatever. But another thing I'm going to go up here and do is do a zero, and it's going to be for passport pictures. I forgot that one. So passport pictures are about $15 to $25. Um, you can get passport pictures at Walgreens, at CVS, um, places like that would do passport pictures for you. Um, you want to get, they're going to be $15 for two passport pictures. If I were you, I would get two sets of those because once you get to Ghana and you get ready to get your residency permit and um, things like that, driver license, they're going to ask you, do you have a passport picture? And, you know, just have an extra set so you can handle your business once you also get on the ground here in Ghana. Um, so, yeah, sorry about that. Moving right along to number seven is your luggage. So, the reason I put this on here is because, because I didn't know what I'm about to tell you, I paid like an extra $200 in the airport because I didn't know this. So the first thing is, your luggage cannot be over 50 pounds. If it's 51 pounds or over, it's gonna be an extra $100 added to your luggage. For me, Delta lets you check two bags, I think, for free, up to 50 pounds. And then you have to pay after that. So you have to pay for your third bag, and you have to pay for anything over the 50 pounds. Sometimes they give you a grace period for one to three pounds. Um, but again, these are the type of things you don't want to count on. You kind of want to over plan on, on this end. So if it's 51 to 70 pounds over, it's going to be an extra $100. If it's 71 to 100 pounds over, it's going to be an extra $200. So um, I just wanted to make sure I let you guys know that um, luggage can be an added expense if you do not plan ahead. So, you know, you need to do a rummage sale, a garage sale, sell some of your stuff, but try to travel as late as possible. Um, make sure you cut your post notifications on below because I am going to do a video on actually packing so you guys can see some of the tricks that I use when trying to travel with a lot of stuff. Um, anyway, so Luggage is the last thing. I, for me personally, pay an extra, I believe it was $200 um, and I think that's it for traveling to Ghana. Okay, so going back to the Ghana 
um, the, the, the COVID test number two that you have to take in the airport of Accra, Ghana. Um, I have a link which I'll put below where you can go and fill out um, this form you're going to need to fill out once you get to Ghana. If you want to alleviate some of the hassle, some of the very long lines, go click on this link and go fill out this paperwork, this form, before your travel. Also, I'll include another link that will be below. below. Um, and this is for you to pay for your $150 a COVID test in Ghana beforehand because again once you get there it can be a very long process if this stuff is not done in advance. Um, you can get through it if you don't have time to do it in advance but I'm just trying to give you a hassle free travel some of the stuff that I wasn't told before um, traveling. Um, but yeah so pay beforehand. Also if you know you're going to have extra luggage you pay for it in advance like if you know you got two extra luggage outside of the allotted to pay for it in advance because it's cheaper than when you get at the gate um, it's definitely more expensive if you try to add on extra luggage when you get there and so we're just trying to alleviate some of the costs you may incur uh, traveling such a far place um, I think that's all of my notes on on traveling to Ghana. So let's do some math really quick. So I have my phone and let's see what's to come up to. So we got, let's say $25. On all of these, I'm going to do the max just so that you'd rather be, you know, you'd rather overplanned than underplanned. So we have $25 for the passport pictures, $140 for the actual passport, $1,648.55. And we're going to just round this up to $1,650. So plus $1,650 equal $1,815. Then we're going to add the visa for $300. And we're going to add the yellow fever shot for $20. And then you got the COVID test. I didn't pay anything. Um, the COVID test too was $150. And then my luggage, I paid an extra $200 once given to the airport. So that brings us to $2,485. This is what you would need to travel to Ghana. So this is your initial fee way before you start, you know, going here first into how much it costs to live in Ghana. So I'm gonna leave it at that for today and make sure you guys cut your post notifications on so you won't miss my next video, which will be how much does it cost to actually live in Ghana? So I'm gonna break it all down, how much the apples cost, how much rent is, how much the water, the propane tank, the food, everything we're gonna write down, all of the prices, and we're gonna do the same thing so that not only you can know how much it costs to survive in Ghana for one month, but we're gonna do the math so you know how much it costs for one year, for five years, for 10 years. And we can actually make, you know, we can be realistic about how much money we need when it comes to relocating. So that's it guys, thank you for your time. Um, make sure you push your post notifications on, subscribe, and tell a friend to tell a friend to tune in about my experience here in Ghana. I'm gonna let you look at the board for a second as I zoom in, and I'll see you guys next week. Shalom, my praise to the Most High, Yahya.